Hey guys, I am Tim the Great and 6 here, and I have my, like, my first real review on this channel because, as you guys know, my old channel got hacked, and this is really the first review that I've made for this channel. Uh, I, did an, I did another review of these uh, on my old channel, but a lot of you guys weren't subscribed to that because I've gotten a lot of new different subscribers, but if you do remember, it's kind of a crappy review. It was my first real try in actual review, so I'm going to give it a better try now, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so, as you guys can see here, we have the Solo HD Beats by Dre, and, uh, I have the Product Red Edition, and, uh, so, uh, proceeds of this go to, uh, benefit, uh, AIDS research and treatment in Africa. So, uh, let's just get right into it. I guess the price is around 200 to 250 dollars, uh, and I've heard people getting it a lot lower, depending on what store they go to, what deals they get. It all depends. Prices really vary when it comes to monster products. And uh, the thing these things are really known for is their base quality. And uh, that that's... Uh, they're, uh, as monster advertises, they, they advertise a good crisp base. That is true to some extent. But uh, the base isn't the greatest. I mean, it's, it's very good for, for headphones that are uh, of this caliber. But... Uh, they could be improved on. Uh, the Sennheisers uh, have much better bass for a lower price. Um, and the treble on these things are just terrible. They're really bad, but it does make up with it with some good bass. Not gonna lie. Uh, the highs, medium, and lows don't always match up completely. I'm not a big audio guy, so I don't really know any of the terms. So I can't really get into that. I can just tell you that they sound okay. They sound mediocre at best, but uh, I'm 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 happy with what I paid for for these. So uh, yeah. Also, uh, as you guys can see here, the head the headpiece is a kind of a rubbery material here, and uh, the inside right here is uh, it's 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 kind of a hard plasticky feel. It feels kind of cheap. Not gonna lie. Um, the uh, ear pieces are made out of kind of a pleathery feel, uh, plastic leather, and um, uh, there's a little bit of foam in here, as you guys can see, and uh, this this wasn't as loose when it came, so that's kind of a wear and tear kind of thing. Um, these fold up like so, so you can put them in their case. Uh, it's got the Beats by Dre logo up there. The hinges, as you guys can see, are a little bit off, but um, it's okay because you can't really tell when you're wearing them. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything, and uh, it has left and right, inside and out, and like on both sides, and it has some print in here, which is upside down. I'm sorry. Bates by Dre is a proud product of Product Red Special Edition, and uh, so sorry, this is can kind of go in a little slow, but on the left side it has a little. Uh, audio jack here. You can plug whatever kind of cord you want, but uh, mainly we, we I deal with the monster cords because they fit this the best, and they have uh, they have control talk as you guys can see here. Uh, if this controls your iPhone, uh, iPod, whatever you want, and uh, it, it also works with your computer, and it also is compatible with BlackBerry, some of the newer BlackBerry models, and I'm not sure if it supports the curve which is probably Blackberry is one of the most popular ones, but I'm pretty sure it supports the new ones. Uh, so what you do is you plug it inside here, and the other side goes into your iDevice, or whatever kind of device you guys want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. With that, it also comes with uh, another pair of these without control talk as you guys can see here no control talk just still the L connector yeah also uh, it comes with this case here as you guys can see uh, it has this little strap thing that is kinda convenient but I'd rather have like a carabiner on here like the Beats Pro do come with this thing zips right up as you guys can see here but uh, as I have said in past reviews, uh, when companies make zippers that stick, it sucks. I'm not going to lie. It's really hard to get open sometimes. And um, it's kind of a burden. I can't even get it open now. And um, I shall try. Uh, 
as you guys see here, it's okay. So, all right. So here's how the beats go in. They fold up here like that, as I showed you before, and they flip right in here. Uh, they f they can go either way. Uh, some people like to put them like this, but I don't usually because I, I feel like they're going to break. Uh, which leads me to another thing that these things, they don't feel like they're durable. They feel like at any moment they can just snap right in half. But I've dropped them actually a couple times and they haven't broken yet, so that's a good thing. Beats did a really nice job on these. I'm not gonna lie, even though it's pretty harsh on on this review, I I kind of do think these are good to mid range headphones if you're just getting started on the audio in the audio department. And uh, if you're if you're into like DJing, I'd rather you get the Beats Pros or the Beats Studios because these ha offer the same sound quality as these studios, but aren't very durable and will won't last very long. They have the same drivers as the studios. Um, but, uh, as you guys can see, they're pretty cheap. Look at that, just from holding it up, it bends. That's not, that's not a good thing. And, uh, I just feel like this is gonna break any time now. So, I hope it doesn't. But for now, this has been Tim the Great 96, a.k.a. I am Tim the Great now. Well, now I am Tim the Great, because that's my new channel. <laughs> you guys get what I'm trying to say. Uh, signing out. Peace.